Well, think of how upset you might be when a channel you like to watch is suddenly unavailable. Now imagine something similar happening with your health care, which would be much more serious, and it could soon happen for some mid-staters. Seth Kaplan here to explain. Seth. Alicia, yeah, I mean, everyone understands this is more important than whether or not a football game will be blacked out, but the principles are similar in terms of understanding what's going on right now between Wellspan and United Healthcare. There are three major things, cost, access, and quality. And, says Dr. Michael Sievers, program lead of Harrisburg University's Health Informatics program, it's almost impossible to have what we want in healthcare with all three of those things at the same time. Higher quality, for example, usually means higher costs, which brings us to the dispute between United Healthcare and Wellspan. Their contract is ending October 31st. That means come November 1st, Wellspan doctors and hospitals, all the ones in yellow here, could be out of network for people who have the biggest health insurance company in America. Which means higher prices for the consumer at that point in time. There's always a yin and yang with um, providers uh, versus uh, health insurance companies. In this case, Wellspan versus United Healthcare, which says it's trying to keep premiums and co-pays low, but quote, Wellspan's rates are egregiously high higher United claims than competing healthcare systems, yet Wellspan continues to seek significant rate increases that drive up its already high costs. Wellspan says that's not true. It says United is worse than its peers about holding up patient care, and Wellspan, quote, must ask for reasonable rate increases to effectively meet the ongoing healthcare needs of the community and provide exceptional care that our patients have come to expect. A lot of people say um, the negotiations between a payer and a hospital is much like uh, creating those uh, balloons at the carnival, okay? You squeeze one side to get the cost down, but the hospital asks for more money on the other side of the balloon. Hospitals, they have to have new technologies. As Seaver said, often hospitals and insurers in a dispute like this one will agree to extend their old contract while they continue negotiating because... It's bad for everyone if things go south. And Alicia, he said, this is just the current stalemate. Next year it could be United in a different health care system, locking horns or Wellspan in a different insurance company.